Deep in laboratories across the country, something is growing. Something that isn't natural. Something that's <laughs> alive. <laughs> it's alive. It's alive. But this isn't Transylvania. <laughs> it's not even Pennsylvania. It's California, home of the biotech company Solazon. Something is growing in this lab, algae that can produce oil, unnatural amounts of oil, algae genetically engineered by scientists. And that oil, it can eventually go into your gas tank as biofuel. And with enough federal help, it could wind up in all of our gas tanks. With more research and incentives, we can break our dependence on oil with biofuels. How? According to the industry, within 10 years, a huge portion of the gasoline we use could be replaced by biofuels, algae included. It would be uh, reasonable to assume that uh, close to 90%, uh, 80 to 90% could be uh, replaced by renewables. Each one of these is engineered by your team, right? This isn't a naturally growing algae. What we do is we actually start with wild strains, mm -hmm. uh, and then we, in cases where that strain can do two things. One, our first filter is to look at the oil that it can produce. And Solozyme has looked at roughly 10,000 strains of algae so far. The second filter, feedstock, what that algae likes to eat. Mm -hmm. So can you look at waste streams, like a very dirty molasses that's mm -hmm. coming out of, the, uh, out of a sugar cane manufacturer, mm -hmm. um, like glycerin that is coming out of a biodiesel manufacturer. So you can feed the algae something no one else wants. Brent Erickson represents the biotech industry. As you see the bubbles coming up through this mixture. Carbon dioxide. Uh, it's carbon dioxide. So it eats carbon dioxide, so it helps us with climate change. And that dual use, capturing our carbon pollution, creating a domestic fuel, that's got the government's eye. This is a very exciting period. Joyce Yang is with the Department of Energy, an agency showering attention and money on engineered algae research. There's a lot of new insights that's come along uh, since uh, we first started looking at it in the 70s. Um, and I think uh, it's, it's, it's been a real renaissance, certainly. Helping rev up that renaissance, for Solazyme, the nearly $22 million in stimulus funding from the Department of Energy, funding to build a biorefinery for algae fuel. We do need uh, some help from the government because it's very costly to scale this up into very large uh, production facilities. Federal funding, private investment, scalable technology, sure, the competition's hot in Silicon Valley, but the competition extends well outside of California. This algae research is taking place in Longfan, China, about an hour's drive south of Beijing. The funding source, a major Chinese energy player, ENN, 25,000 employees strong, a company that is very eager to turn algae into a cash crop. In part because China not the U.S. now has the world's biggest thirst for energy. The United States has traditionally been number one in biotechnology, and we need to work hard to preserve that lead, uh, but the Chinese are definitely breathing down our necks. The algae in these tubes at the ENN plant, its food source is carbon dioxide from a coal plant. ENN is putting emissions from China's most polluting source of electricity, coal, inside this algae and getting oil out of it. The company says this technology will be at commercial scale in about two years' time. What is China doing better? What is its private sector doing to generate uh, such strong advances? I, I'm not sure they're doing anything better. Uh, they just have a very significant focus hmm. on this because of the number of people that they have. The market And size. we need to make sure we keep our focus. Algae might seem as green as it gets, but there are concerns about engineered algae. What if it, well, escapes into the wild? <laughs> What if that algae, genetically modified to devour CO2 and produce huge amounts of oil, what if it overwhelmed natural algae? A 2009 presentation at a biomass conference posed that question. The answer, no one is certain. I think certainly algae is one of the ways uh, that um, could be environmentally benign and uh, result in a product that can have other uses as well. So what you're looking at here is something you won't see anywhere else in the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, containers of algae fuel made by Solazyme, some of it bound for the military. You're looking over here at uh, also these are additional uh, barrels of oil and uh, up on the top shelf you see some algal distillate. Basically that's Navy diesel fuel. 
Some of the 20,000 gallons of algae diesel fuel Solazon delivered to the Navy last year. And this year, the Pentagon wants more than seven times that amount from the company. It seems like looking at, at, at this, a, 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 a barrel is tangible proof that you've gone from growing algae in the lab to cranking out product and proof of everything in between. Is that fair to say? Correct. And, and even more important, we are delivering tanker trucks full. In the future, we're going to find um, new strains, and then we're also going to breed uh, our own new strains to make them more efficient and, and produce multiple products as well. Now, through this door is an entire division of soul design that came about basically by accident. You see, scientists were sifting through the 10,000 strains of algae they had on hand and found one that produced a different kind of oil. And here it is, almost like olive oil. Well, that discovery led to an entire array of algae-based food products, honey mustard sauce, cookies, even vanilla milk. Pretty good. Already, some of these products are showing up in stores. This one is at Whole Foods. So in case the whole algae to fuel process doesn't work out so well, Solazyme has a pretty good backup plan in place. But if the algae industry's vision for a domestically grown oil supply does come to life, maybe the future of fuel won't be as scary as we think. In South San Francisco, California, Tyler Suters, Energy Now.